Welcome to Match Day. This is the football referee with Emmy Hickens, Trevor Gear, and Femi Madariola. I think Gallagher did much in the first half to justify his inclusion, really. As I say, I don't think he's yet an international quality footballer. But, yeah, you, as you say, we've won. We've won the group. Yeah. Um, what was it? Two draws and a win, wasn't it, out of the three yeah. games? Yeah. But as mo everyone seems to agree, and certainly the, the press and the media do, it's been a pretty underwhelming set of performances by England. Right. As you say, we've got some very good players, but they're not being put together properly. And I think a few weeks ago, when we were talking about this uh, to Femi as well, yeah, I, I made the point I felt that England managers always should basically have their team in their mind fixed for two or three months before a tournament. Right. After all, they have two years between the World Cup and then the Euros each time, and they don't really have much else to do but get together for those pre-tournament things. Right. They should have had their team and be playing that team for every possible game and training well before. So when you get to the tournament, the England team or any team will be as close to a club side where they all know each other. Football is a game where you you, you get to know what your colleagues do, where they go, when they run, you know, where how they're going to pass to you. But yeah. we have good players who don't good good players who don't um seem to be aware what, what their you know their the rest of their teammates are about to do or are doing. So lots of passes go astray. Uh, I think it, the fact that we won it shows it wasn't the strongest group. Even Denmark, I think, I think they only had three draws, as far as I know. Um, so we topped the group. And I think, well, now we're playing on Sunday, aren't we? And I, I can't remember who we're playing or whether they even know yet. I think it will depend on results tonight. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, again, you know, I don't want to just sit and criticise the manager or anybody else. But in, in reality, I've never felt Gareth Southgate is a particularly great manager. Mm. He doesn't seem to he doesn't seem to get it when it comes to there are some players who anyone who knows football and is in football, they know they're a very good player. I don't know anyone who would say Cole Palmer is not up to it. He, he's excellent since he's been at Chelsea and he was at Man City before that. Great young player, you're only a young chap. Um, and there's others in the team who are very good. But Trent Alexander-Arnold, he started off in midfield when, in fact, at Liverpool, he's a right back. And Southgate said, oh, yeah, it's an experiment. Well, what's he doing? Doing an experiment which didn't work in the first and second games of yeah. the three-game group stage. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And, and I know it's irrelevant to the point, but when you think these England managers are on... We're going to take a short break now. The Football Ref will be back shortly. You're listening to The Football Referee with Emmy Hickens, Trevor Gear, and Femi Madariola. The Football Referee will be back shortly. Please stay tuned. The Football Referee is looking for sponsors. If you're a business out there looking to spread the word about the products and services you offer, please get in touch on our website, deepstuffrecords.com. And also, if you're looking to get involved on this show, please reach out via our Facebook page, Deep Stuff Radio or Deep Stuff Records. Thank you.